Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky and relaxing challenge. 5 minus 2 divided by 5 minus 2. At the first sign it looks like pretty easy, right? We only have subtraction sign, division sign. But 97% make this common mistake. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? Option A, option B or option C? And in the end of the video we will check our answers. It will be really interesting, I promise you. First of all, I want to start with this first interpretation. Here's our challenge. Five 5 minus 2 dividing by 5 minus 2. A lot of students say, okay, 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. Division in the middle, then they divide. 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1, right? They say option B, this is the correct answer to this challenge, this is the correct approach, correct solution. But in terms of math, we should know what is the correct order. We can solve our challenges randomly, we can do whatever we want. Let's look at this PEMDAS sort of operation. This is the most popular sort of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS sort of operation. And how does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority. Next step is exponents. It's like 5 square, 5 cube like that. Next multiplication division group. Last step is addition and subtraction group. So right now let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS sort of operation. Here is our challenge. 5 minus 2 dividing by 5 minus 2. Here's our challenge. Let's scan. What elements do we have? We have subtraction sign, we have division sign. Where do we have the sciences? As you can see, division we have right here, subtraction we have right here. We don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have any exponents, multiplication, and addition. We only have division and subtraction. What we should do at first? We should subtract or we should divide. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. And the division had the higher position than subtraction. It means that division has the higher priority. It means that our first step should be division. We should divide 2 divided by 5. What do we have? We have 5 minus, uh, minus 0 0.4, right? Minus 2. So we complete our, our first step division. Our second step is subtraction. We should subtract 5 minus 0 0.4 in a strict order from left to right, which is equal to 4 4.6, right? 4.6 minus 2, this is our our last step, which is equal to 2.6, right? 2.6, option C. And a lot of students all the time argue with each other about the correct answer, because one part of students say that option B, this is the correct answer, and another part of students say that option C, this is the correct answer. Let's look at our first interpretation. We solve this challenge absolutely randomly, which is a really bad mistake in terms of math. We can do whatever we want. We can jump from left to right. With brackets right here, this is a correct answer as well. But in our case, we don't have any brackets. We don't have parentheses, so this is absolutely wrong answer. This is wrong solution guys. And let's look at our second interpretation. We solve the challenge according to PEMDAS sort of operation. And the first step was division. We should divide 2 dividing by 5 which is equal to 0 0.4 because division has the higher position than subtraction. Division has the higher priority. Our first step is division and our second step is subtraction in a strict order from left to right. 5 minus 0 0.4 which is equal to 4.6. Our last step is subtraction. Uh, 4.6 6 minus 2 which is equal to 2.6 option c this is the correct answer to this challenge this is the correct approach correct solution i hope the answer is the same as mine i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so thank you for your time have a great day guys and see you in the next videos